Well, it's the end of a long day. It's Friday at the salon, and I am wiped out, and my ass is dragging. And it's really not Friday for me. Saturday is my real Friday because most people in the hair industry work Tuesday through Saturday. So the end of our week really is Saturday night. But I usually do very little on Friday nights. I didn't do my typical grooming uh, today at all. Did nothing. So first thing I'm going to do is just show you how I keep the goatee. Oh, as you noticed, uh, I grew a mustache. So let's... Uh, I'm now using the electric razor, so let me just kind of get this done. I ran out of the house this morning. Very little maintenance. Very little maintenance. My beard was way more maintenance than this. I'm squinting my eyes because I don't want to put on my glasses yet. Smooth, yep. Underneath, hit the line. Feel for roughness. I don't know what I'm going to name this video, like how to groom a goatee or whatever, I don't know. I was going to do kind of like a heavy metal goatee and just grow this bad boy back down to here, like second button. But that could change. Get some of this stuff up here, up here. Soul patch. That looked weird, didn't it, when I went? That was odd. It looked like there was an alien in my mouth. Ah! <laughs> Only kidding. Remember that joke, hey Rosie, go like this? I'm not going to say it because there's minors in the audience. Let me put the glasses on. Let me finish this bad boy up. Um, the latest musings are, I'm thinking of growing the stash out kind of like uh, Kurt Russell in Bone Tomahawk, this big, not, not quite a, it's not a beard stash. But it's not a, a giant handlebar mustache, so I don't know. Let me just kind of clean these lines up. Hold on while I make some more weird faces. Not bad. Excuse me. This is weird because I'm using the camera as like my mirror. I don't want to dig into the goatee at all. All right, this line in here. Perfect. Perfect. I cut too much. I felt it. All right. Usually I cut up top. I'm not doing that today. Let's see what else. All right. And a Slimline Pro. And my favorite comb, the YS Park Quick Cutting Comb. Comb is straight down. All right, here we go. I only do this once a week. The women are digging the uh, goatee. Go figure. Kent brush. I can't really shape anything. I don't want the, the chin part to get too straggly. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Not a bad look. 
Make sure my lines are okay on the sideburns. Hold on a second. Now let me do this one first. Oh, I just felt something. Where was that? Right there. Good. Keep those lines nice. Keep those lines nice. I'm not doing too mutton choppy. Like I'm not, what I'm not allowing these sideburns to do is kind of come down like that. I'm kind of keeping them controlled. Although I still want to knock off some of that right there. Right on the end. All right. You might like it, you might not, but guess what? If you don't like it, <laughs> wait a month and I'll have some, something that you do like. Ah, see that? Look at that, man. See, see what that does? Watch it. Watch this. Scraggly, scraggly. Come up. Bam. 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 And then down, down. And you got a nice look. I could do jeans and boots or a suit and tie. I still kind of like it how this kind of goes back a little bit. That's I did that on purpose. That's the look that I'm going for. All right. I can't complain. All right. It's not bad. All right, so that's my weekly grooming right there. Since I just opened up the skin, I'm going to put on some of the Clubman classic stuff. You see this in country clubs and all this kind of stuff. Hold on. Put that on. It's just pure alcohol. It's just pain. Hold on a second on the count of three. I got to psych myself up for this. One, two, three. Son of a bitch. Ah! Wow. Mother. Mm. Woo! If that shit don't wake you up, I don't know what will, but it smells magnificent. I'll put a link for that down below. Honestly, this stuff has been around since like the freaking 1800s. I'll put a link. You're going to love the smell. Just splash a little bit of this on. If you splash too much on, and just rub it on your arms too. All right. Like wherever there's hair. Let me put it that way. Um... If you put too much on, you will gag people. So, like, maybe you put some in a little jar, little bottle, little squeeze bottle or something like that. So, when you're going somewhere, you can just put a little bit on when you're in your car. But, like, don't wear it on a plane or a train or if you're traveling in a car with people. You will gag them. Believe me, what smells good to you probably smells like shit to other people, okay? And, you know, it's just a It's not a matter of being... Um, like, well, I'm going to stick to my guns. Just be considerate of other people when it comes to smells. And I've always said that when it comes to applying any kind of fragrance, the only people that should be smelling you are you and someone who's getting close enough to you, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, the rest of it on the clothes, whatever. So there you go. All right, but you end up going through that, like, home alone, that Macaulay Culkin thing, like, ah, kind of thing for the first like second and it hurts like hell I do not recommend it that's why I'm a huge huge witch hazel fan and not a fan of alcohol based uh, products all right so that's my weekly thing I'm not going out tonight I act like I'm going out but I'm not big mr. big shot here I'm just gonna go home and probably throw a steak on the grill and Netflix it tonight because I gotta be back here in, the, in this private grooming room tomorrow morning and start doing beards and hair all over again and I want to be in top shape. I was not feeling well earlier in the week. A lot of people don't know. I spent two days in the hospital. Tell, but I'm good. It's all good. All right. Uh, what's next on the agenda for videos? We have some interviews coming. 
Uh, I'm going to be experimenting with some co-hosts. I'm sure the Saltress will be. Saltress is out for five weeks. She had foot surgery, so she can't get around. She can't cut hair, so she has to keep her foot elevated above her waist, which means that she's like on a recliner or something like that. So she's taking care of herself. Uh, she'll be back in probably a month. Uh, what else? I'm looking for a co-host for a show. I'm not sure what that co-host, uh, that co-hosting will consist of because I do have sponsors and I have some really neat product reviews coming up. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, hit the subscribe button. You haven't subscribed yet, man. I know you haven't. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, which says that every time more content comes out like this, they they let you know, so you don't find out like a month later. Bang the thumbs up button, forward the video to someone who you think would appreciate it. And if you're a first time watcher, go back through the old videos and take a look at some of my crazy old antics. And for some of you, a lot of you old timers, and I should say not old timers, a lot of you original guys and gals, a lot of my stuff is tongue-in-cheek. There are some people who will just want to argue with me. I get up early in the morning. You guys know I get up at 4.30 in the morning, and I wake up to 100 emails and comments. And usually about 20% of them are just nasty as heck of people who are up drinking or getting high and then watching my videos and then felt the need to get on the keyboard. And the last thing I want to do is argue with people that I don't know. So um, the spirit of the channel is humor, education, information, satire. And those of you that have been with me for a long time, you can appreciate that. It's a nice, a nice normal mixture. It's like life, right? Life isn't always serious. Life isn't always funny, but it's a mixture of things. And I hope you like the things that I do. And I, man, you got a lot of choices out there between TV and a bazillion channels and people popping zits on YouTube. And you got Boogie 2988, you got PewDiePie, you got Ed Bassmaster. You have all these people doing pranks, yet you chose to spend a couple minutes watching me, the Sultan. And I'm grateful for that because you could be somewhere else. So I thank you for spending some time with me today. All right, go kill it. 2018 is the year you get unstuck. Make it happen, man. See ya.